In this video series, we're going to be looking at a Drupal community initiative called Learn Drupal. It's designed to get people involved in the community. So we'll be looking at some background on this project, how it got started, what the goals for it are, and then we'll be looking at how you can actually get involved and progress to becoming a contributor yourself. This first video is going to be looking at the background. It's a presentation just to give a little bit of a sense of what's going on and where things are going. And then all of the subsequent videos in this series will cover each individual lesson in what they call the Drupal Ladder, which is a series of lessons to teach you step by step how to become a contributor and apply what you learn in the Drupal community. The Learn Drupal project is a community initiative that got started in 2011. And the purpose of this project was to get more people contributing to Drupal Core. And it does this by teaching people the skills that they need, exposing them to the tools that they need to use within the Drupal community, and also teaching people uh, not just Drupal best practices in terms of code, but also how to actually interact with the community and work with the community. The problem that is actually being addressed by this project is that there simply aren't enough people who are working on core. Now, if you look at this uh, in this chart here, you can see that the number of contributors has um, risen over time, and we actually had almost uh, 1,000 contributors for Drupal 7, um, which is a, a, a good number of people. But if you flip this around and look at it from the other side, in terms of the percentage of people who are actually using Drupal in the community, it's gone down dramatically over time. So the community has been expanding at a really rapid pace, and the number of people who are actually helping with core is not keeping pace with that. So we're currently down to one-tenth of one percent, which is one out of every thousand people who are contributing to Drupal core, which is of course the base of what we're all using. Another way that you can look at this is uh, by looking at the amount of work that actually needs to be done. As of uh, May 2012, there were over 7,000 open issues for Drupal Core, Drupal 7 and Drupal 8. Drupal 7 being the stable, current stable release, and then Drupal 8 being the new version that's in development currently. And so you can see from looking at this chart that only 1% of the open issues are reviewed and tested by the community, basically ready to go. There's a large chunk that still needs to be reviewed and a even larger chunk that actually still needs work, but work has at least begun. And then there's 50% uh, currently that are not getting anything done at all. These are just open, active issues that don't have any patches uh, to correct the problem or to add the feature yet. At the same time, Drupal's getting a lot more complicated, and it's really hard to help with a project uh, when you don't fully understand it or feel like you, you have a good enough grasp of what's happening in order to be able to help improve that. So the solution uh, that we're aiming for here is to make it easy for people to learn Drupal and contribute. In 2011, uh, Brian Hirsch had a conversation with several core developers talking about this problem and a solution to that. And the Boston Drupal user group uh, decided that they would dedicate some of their time and their meetups to help solve this problem and actually work out a plan of attack. So they uh, worked on this for six months, and then at DrupalCon Denver in 2012, they presented the work that they had done so far uh, and asked the rest of the community to, to come join them in uh, trying to build the solution and make it actually work for the community. So the core of what they came up with was something called the Drupal Ladder. And basically the idea was to take all of the stuff that people can do to contribute, organize those contributions and, and the skills needed to do those contributions, and organize them in a progression that makes sense and then make it so that each step in that progression is easy if you've completed the one before it. And then the final really important piece is to make the very first step on that ladder easy for anyone regardless of their level of experience so that they can start out with the most uh, sort of basic understanding of what's happening and then work their way through the system and learn more and more of it and be able to contribute more and more. 
So when you look at the ladder, uh, if you find where you are, which rung are you sitting on, on the ladder, you can see how you could apply the skills that you already have to Drupal Core. And you can also look at this, the, the rung above you and take a step up and learn the next lesson to improve your skills. And then again, see how you can apply that to contributing to Core. The way that the group implemented this concept of a ladder in their meetups was by having a variety of sprints. And uh, there are two kinds of sprints and the sort of first starting point uh, for a group are learn sprints. And that is where, as a group during a meetup, people work on the lessons in the ladder together. Related to the learn sprints, you have issue sprints to actually work on Drupal core issues. And the way that these tend to be set up is you'll have a spreadsheet where you actually decide which core issues you're going to work on. And then people sign up to work on those particular issues in pairs so that you have people working together to learn things so that if you're not completely comfortable with it, you sort of have a buddy that's going to help you walk through the entire process of not just working on the issue itself in terms of the code or the, the documentation that needs to be changed, but also the whole process of actually submitting a patch or reviewing patches or working on those kinds of things. From all of the work that they did, doing these sprints, determining how to break the sprints out, coming up with a ladder, writing a lot of lessons, there are a number of resources that are now available. Uh, the number one resource would be the LearnDrupal.org website, and that's where the, the ladder exists, that's where lessons are created and, and sort of maintained and organized. There's information on how to run sprints and meetups. The next resource that was created from all of this um, is a, an actual project on Drupal.org that you can download called Learn, and that is an installation profile that will basically install the Learn Drupal.org website on your local machine. So you will have the Drupal ladder and the lessons and the same environment. There's also a group on groups.drupal.org. That's uh, groups.drupal.org slash learn dash Drupal. And that group is for discussing the project itself, how you can help out with the things like the website, or if you're running a meetup and you want to get advice or share how things went, that's what we're using that group for. And that's a really, really useful resource. And then there's, we also have an IRC channel at Pound Learn Drupal, uh, where you can come and sort of ask questions and talk real time about what things are being worked on and, and ideas for how to deal with meetups and that kind of thing. So the, the, we have the problem and we have this idea of a solution and in terms of measuring when we have uh, achieved our goals, the goal is, is a relatively high goal. And if we go back and look at this, this chart we had before of the percentage of contributors um, for, for Drupal Core, it's at you know one-tenth of one percent, which is one out of every 1,000 Drupal users is currently contributing. And the goal is to get that to 1% by 2014. So that's saying we want to get one out of every 100 Drupal users contributing back to core in some way. It's a pretty big goal, but everybody can help us get there. And a shorter term goal by August 2012, which would mean by DrupalCon Munich, we're looking to get at least 10 more user groups um, sprinting with the, the learn and the issue sprints and working on this goal. Uh, we also want to relaunch the LearnDrupal.org website, make it a little more user-friendly and make it a, a better place for us to be able to create and manage the lessons. And then there's also the goal of releasing a 1.0 version of the Learn Drupal project on Drupal.org, that installation profile. Um, and so these are all different kinds of areas that, that need help. Um, so starting a meetup, helping with the LearnDrupal.org website, or working on the installation profile are all different ways of helping the Learn Drupal initiative itself, which in turn is helping us get ourselves to that goal of 1% of users who are contributing back to core. It's time to get involved. This is a project that benefits everybody. At its simplest, you can let people know about LearnDrupal.org and what we're trying to accomplish here. Of course, you can dive into the lessons and start to work your way through and become a contributor, but also helping improve those lessons is a huge help. Another way you can help is by bringing the Learn Drupal Learn and Issue Sprints to your local meetup. It's a great way to bring your community together, and we are definitely here to help. Drupal